SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page. And you want to measure your SERP rank, what normal people call your rank on Google, or are you on page one on Google, or are you number one, two, three on Google, in a very systematic way. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use a really slick tool that's free to measure your rank systematically on Google across your keyword searches. Let's get started. So welcome back. The code for the materials for rank is 2999-E. So you can enter that at jm-seo.org or click on the YouTube description. That will get you to all the goodies, all the materials. We're really going to look at one tool. It's my favorite tool for rank checking. It's called Rank Checker, not surprisingly. And it's a free tool for Firefox. I've got the links for you. So go over to SEO Book. I've got the link right there and you're going to download Rank Checker. So you need to sign up for a free account. Sign up for a free account, give them your emails. They got a lot of good tools here. Download the tool. It must be running on Firefox. So you have to go get Firefox if you don't have it. You can't use it on Internet Explorer, can't use it on Chrome. Lord knows you can't use it on Safari. So you got to use it on Firefox, which you get from Mozilla. So Google Firefox, download Firefox in style Firefox. Okay, so now you've got the tool. Let's talk about what we're sort of investigating. So you go to Google, let's say you're one of those big insurance companies, you do a search motorcycle insurance quote, right, and you want to know your rank on Google, what's called your SERP rank. So here's our search code, here's our, here's our uh, search phrase, here's number one, number two, number three. So these are the top three positions, natural organic positions for motorcycle insurance quote. Now top three is really where the money is. Top ten you're at least in the game. Very few people go to position 11. So you need to rank one to ten with one, two, three being by far the absolute best. Now it varies based on the search. If you type in a search like pizza, Google creates the carousel. This is based on Google Local, Google Plus Local, and then below that you have your organic results. The tools don't really measure this part of Google. Say you're a divorce attorney, you type in divorce attorney. The Google Local is down here. So here would be, uh, it looks like number one, number two, it looks like those aren't ads, so number one, number two three, four, five, six, seven, etc. That's your page one results. These are sort of interspersed in the middle. That's a different animal. That's Google Places. So pay attention to that. Figure it out. Now what are we trying to do? We're trying to find out, you know, for a search industrial fans, who's number one, who's number two, who's number three, who's number four, etc. Now wouldn't it be awesome if there was a tool that would measure this systematically for you. So you could create reports, you could measure it on a monthly basis, show it to your boss, get your big raise because you're going to show how much you're going to improve your rank on Google. Well, guess what? There is a tool that's the rank checker from Firefox. So go install the tool. Okay, now I'm going to assume you've installed it. When you install it in Firefox, it's going to show in your tools menu. You're going to go tool, rank checker, options, you're going to select google.com. That's obviously the USA Google. If you're UK, British, Australian, you know, hello, mate. Choose google.co.au for Australia. Choose your appropriate Google. You want to make sure you don't check personalized search results. You can also check Bing. There's no reason to check Bing and Yahoo because they're the same search engine. So I've got it set to google.com and Bing. Now, what else do you want to do? This is your delay between queries. If you're going to run a large list, I would say more than 20 words, change that to 99 seconds. You got to slow it down because Google will not give you the data if you put pound too many queries at Google. So I've got it set for three because we're just going to do something short and sweet. All right, so that's all turned and set on. Now let's talk about how to set it up. So I'm going to take my keyword list and I'm going to copy it and I'm going to compare progressive.com and 21st.com. I'm going to compare two websites. Where did they rank on Google? So I'm going to go Tool, Rank Checker, Run. I'm going to click Add Multiple Keywords. 
I'm going to right click and paste the keyword list in here. That's why it's so helpful to have a keyword worksheet because you can copy paste your keyword phrases right onto the tool. Now in the domain I'm going to type progressive progressive.com and I'm not going to use a capital letter. I'm not going to use www. So just your domain progressive.com. I'm going to hit add. I'm going to put the competitor in here 21st.com another insurance company and I'm going to hit add. I'm going to hit close. So now I've got the domains I'm checking, the keywords I'm checking against. I'm going to maximize this. I'm going to click start. So now this tool is going to go out and it's going to check progressive.com, 21st.com versus the target keyword. So car insurance, car insurance quote, renter's insurance. It's checking each one of these queries and it's doing all that hard work for you. So in all the hard work for you, here's what's awesome. Do this every month for your keyword list. Set up an Excel spreadsheet or a Google Doc and you can measure where you show over time. Now what does the tool tell us? This tells us for car insurance, Progressive is number two. For, 20, for uh, 21st.com is number 70. That means there's seven pages deep. It's terrible. Car insurance quote online, they made it on number nine. They're number two. Bing, they're four, they're 26. What is the little slash means? Not in the top 250. It means total suckage, really bad. So little slash means top, nowhere to be found. Realistically, the only ones that are any good are less than 10, 10 or less. So for this search, progressive.com is awesome. They're on page one for everything. They're in trouble on Bing on those two uh, uh, it gives you the URLs as well. These two searches. So for buy renters insurance online, they're 26 on Bing. Motorcycle insurance quote, they're 20 on Bing. That's where they've got some troubles. Now let's look at their competitor, 21st. The only one that they're even in the game for is car insurance quote online, they're number nine. Over here on Bing, they're number 10. Everybody else, they're way off page one. If it's greater than 11, no bueno. Okay, so that's your report. Now what can you do with report? Down here on the left, click export. You can export that as a CSV file. So I'm gonna just export it to the desktop and I'm just gonna put progressive versus 21st rank and I'm gonna hit save. So now I've exported that as an Excel and I can populate that in my Excel and off I go. If you click save here, it will save that as a search that you want to run in again and again. So just put in progressive versus 21st and hit OK. And now that's saved and you can open that and run it again and again and again. So you can open it and this is where it was run once before. You can run it again and again and again. You can save your searches. So you just have a little setup the first time. Then you can run this puppy every month, every day, whatever your data needs are. You'll know your rank on your regular Google searches. Just remember, it doesn't search the Google local listings. Those are a little bit of a different animal. You have to measure those manually. So that, my dear friends, is Rank Checker, showing you how to use Rank Checker to measure your rank systematically, generate some Excels, and off you go. All the materials are on the website. Please go to the website to get them. If you're new to our channel, please subscribe to our channel. Thank you so much for watching.